In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about how to navigate the job offer process and how to negotiate. Okay. Whether this is an internship or maybe your first entry level job right after college, it's going to be the same process. Now, if you've done a bunch of interviews, like I recommended before you're doing three, four, five interviews, and now you're just waiting to hear back and you get, let's say three different offers, you have to be able to pick one. Okay. You know, sometimes it's very difficult for people to uh, negotiate because they might not not have enough confidence to do so or they just don't know how to this is something that you need you need to um to practice now one of the first things you have to do is going to be uh to research right you have to research the job that you applied for right you have to research uh you know you know some of the the requirements for the job obviously now you want to research how much do people get paid? I, I'm just assuming you probably looked that up already, right? The average pay in your city. And you wanna you wanna narrow this search down to your city or even your area where you live, or maybe for that company, and you can find this information on websites like Glassdoor, right? Where you can look up a company and you go to the salary section and you can look at you know the different positions and the average pay. It tells even tells you how many employees enter their pay, how many, you know. Um, uh, line items are is the average pay based on this is it three people that enter their salary so this average is for three people now there's so many websites that teach you how to do that so you have to know what you're getting yourself into the last thing you want to do is you know go for a job that pays fifty thousand dollars on average in your city and you go asking them for ninety thousand dollars that means you didn't do your research so you need to be able to know what you're getting yourself into before you even start negotiating. Now, one of the other things you need to look for is going to be you have to focus on value, right? Instead of just looking at the dollar amount of the salary you're going to be offered is you can look at things such as benefits. Do they have medical benefits, vision, dental? What do they have? Short term disability, long term disability, accident benefits. These are things that, you know, that are, are offer you a sense of security. So you need to, if you value these things, these are some of the things you need to take into consideration. You know, you want to ask about bonuses, right? Most of the time they'll just tell you yeah, we have annual bo bonuses or maybe quarterly bonuses or monthly bonuses. They'll tell you that upfront, but it doesn't hurt to ask if they have stock options, if they allow you to have stock options, that's something that's of value, right? It might not be part of the salary, but it's value that you're getting from this, right? Vacation time. These are things that a lot of people don't really think about. Think about the vacation time. Ask about that, right? You can look at, um, you know, even ask about professional development opportunities. How do you, why do you, what do you offer your employees to be, you know, better professionals? Are there any workshops? Are there any, you know, things that we can attend in order to learn more about our industry or our our job uh, specifically right and you know you can even talk about work arrangements is this a hybrid position where you work from home sometimes or and you work from the office sometimes like what type of uh, work um, arrangements can you uh, do they offer now you can also Okay, some of the things is going to be highlighting your value, right? Now, I want to be honest when it comes to highlighting your value. You know, if you're just graduating from college or if it's an internship, you don't really have a lot of negotiating power. You really don't. So you don't want to take it too far. So highlighting your value is more for people that you know have had prior uh, internships where they can talk about, you know, uh, some of the skills that you have, that you have your unique skills. You can talk about your last internship, some of the things you've done. You can talk about your qualifications. If you you have any certifications if you have, if you have that microsoft excel certification or any other job specific certifications this is when you can bring those up right in order to highlight the value that you're going to bring uh, to this company now now it's it's important to leverage these multiple offers right you can also you know they'll you know, I've had I've had interviews where you know I'm 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 talking to two different people with two different offers, and sometimes they will ask, "Hey, do you have any other offers on the table?" Right? And you don't have to lie about it. Tell them, "Yes, uh, I've I'm actually interviewing here too. You know, I'm negotiating with this company as well." Now that's gonna want them to compete if they actually want you, right? They're gonna want to you know get the talent instead of the other company getting the talent, which is you. So if you have multiple offers, make sure you make it known that you ha you're entertaining multiple offers and that's going to encourage them to uh, maybe pay you more or give you more uh, more benefits now 
you also have to demonstrate some flexibility here, right? Because some companies just have a certain amount of money budgeted for that position. You can't be one of those people that are like, it's my way or the highway, right? You have to have flexibility. You have to hear them out. You know, be a good listener. If they're telling you, they're like, hey, you know, ba you know, this is how much we have budgeted for this, but we can add in some extra vacation time. We can help you with moving expenses. This is some of the things you want to ask for. We can help with moving expenses. We can, you know, you can give you a company vehicle, like hear them out. Don't just focus on the, on the, on the salary, right? If they're trying to do whatever they can to, to get you as, as, as a talent, you, know, you have to be able to hear them out. You have to have active listening. That's a skill that you need to have, right? As soon as you become dismissive, then, you know, they're just going to be like, well, we'll go with someone else then, right? So you have to be that type of person that is not always, uh, that, that maintains professionalism throughout the negotiation. If it's not going to work for you, make it known. Okay, yeah, let me, I'll get back to you. Uh, let me go ahead and think about this or sleep on it. And uh, I'll get back to you, right? You don't have to tell them right there and there. You know, sometimes they'll even ask you to take uh, a day or two to consider. And then you can, if you don't like it, you can send an email. Hey, thank you for the opportunity. But, uh, you know, I've decided that I will no longer be, um, you know, a candidate for this, right? Now, you have to realize that this is not easy to do. It comes with practice, right? It requires a lot of confidence. It requires you knowing your worth. It requires a lot. So I recommend that you practice practice doing this with your friends. Sometimes you practice by doing your first negotiation on your first job. You know, that's what happened to me when I got my first job out of college. That was the first time that I ever negotiated, uh, you know, my salary. I was sweating. I was on the phone. It was over the phone with the HR lady. I'm talking to her. I'm sweating. I'm pinching myself. You know, she's asking, you know, what is my range? You know, and I'm like, well, according to the, you know, the average in this area, the average is here. But I believe that, you know, since I have the certification, you know, and, you know, the, my skills that I'm going to be bringing to the company, I think I might be a little higher than that or something like that. You know, you have to have confidence. You know, it's going to be scary. It's going to be exhausting. It's going to be you're going to be sweating like you, you just have to go through it. Right. If you've never practiced, you can practice all you want. But when you're actually doing it, it's hard. And if you're doing it, doing it in person, it's going to be even harder. So you have to be ready for that. You know, sometimes when you do interviews, they're going to ask you, what are your salary expectations, right? That is information you always need to have. Even when you go to an interview, even when you are waiting to hear back from an interview, you need to have those numbers ready. You need to have, you know, the, your unique skills that you bring to the um, to the company, you need to have, you know, some of the, the things that are valuable to you. Um, you can ask them, Hey, I want help with my moving expenses. You know, is that something you can do? You know, what are the benefits? You know, are the, do you have flexible work arrangements? These are things that you can ask for. And one of the most important things to remember is to be professional and to also be understanding practice, active listening. It has to be a mutually beneficial agreement. All right. So that is pretty much it for this lesson. I'll see you guys on the next one.